Hey everyone, I have here all four of the LEGO Ninjago Season 11 Spinjitzu Slam sets, and together they cover four of the ninja. Only four. The fifth figure here is bundled together with Kai, and it's a blizzard samurai. I'm just going to cover all of these in one video because each set is pretty small, so let's go. I'm going to start with the set for J, which is probably the simplest and possibly the least interesting to actually play with. But all of these Spinjitzu slammers are built the same way, so this is a good way to focus more on the main thing that's fairly common between all of these sets, or actually very common between all of these sets. This is a Spinjitzu slammer, and the general idea here is that you push down on a thing back here, and it launches off your spinner, you know, your little Spinjitzu tornado. And I didn't do it very hard there, but the harder you do it, the faster it will spin. Get in there. And the idea is that you're supposed to hit it quite hard. And that's actually now working. So this is just the most recent style of Spinjitzu Tornado, which has a new specialized piece on the base of it, which has a little bit of a screw in it. And that is fit into this very large specialized Piece, not including the handle here, but the, the base of it down the center that is specifically designed to spin the thing as you hit it. So I push this down, it's pushing it out, and it's spinning at the same time. Ultimately, it just releases and off it goes. All the rest of it you build up with just regular pieces. So this has two really specialized pieces for Spinjitzu Slam in particular. And then each one is you know, basically just color matched to the Ninja. Uh, to their their elements and their general style and that's pretty much the idea and these actually work pretty well and pretty consistently as long as you have a large enough space and you hit this hard the ninja in this particular line of four sets are unique they are fs versions for jin for jin spin bits no, forbidden spinjitsu versions so that's why you get that headpiece but then the color scheme and the printing is unique and different I personally don't like these styles and, and, you know, let me know what you think about it in the comments as we go through and look at the others. But yeah, these definitely don't appeal to me that much. Uh, like, I like the, uh, the regular set versions of them better. Uh, the printing there is not very strong, actually, in my opinion, on the face. You know, could have used some more brightness and definition nice to have just a regular face to go with it but then you do not have an alternate headgear piece to go with that normal face the side build in the j set is i guess it's supposed to represent a, a little tower you know looking at its shape and <laughs> it's just micro scaled and ultimately it's just a holder for a spring-loaded shooter so you have a single spring-loaded shooter there in the center and a couple of extra bolts as well and that's just that the idea is that you would fire off jay and then try to shoot at him as if this is an emplacement for the bad guys and yep that's that looking at zane's set here you can immediately see that the slammer portion of it is an identical build it just has different colors to go with it so it's going to work exactly the same everything about it is the same is the same except for the colors and zane gets the trans light blue color with the metallic silver, which actually works out pretty well for him. I think it's one of the better working color schemes. But then this comes with some different side builds. So you have a training dummy here, which is great because it's just a basic neutral target. You know, uh, you can just go after it and try to hit it. And it's something that, you know, you can tell when you hit it, it will get knocked down pretty easily. Looks like it's made with some wood there. They actually use a couple of those printed tiles, and that is a light gray colored uh, hat piece there and then these actually have the slammer bases on them so these can actually be fired off as giant shuriken and you can use them either on the ninja side you know for you know, working for good or you can have them attacking zane so you can fire off zane and then you know load up these and fire them at him or vice versa and see what you can do these move very quickly when they fire off and they behave a little bit differently than the Spinjitzu tornadoes. The more I look at him, I think the more I like this version of Zane, uh, you know, especially relative to the others, how they've changed up the color scheme 
for the Spinjitzu Slam series in particular. I think the headgear works really well for him with the metallic silver that's just molded and dual molded with the Translite blue. And for the high saturation color, the, the other blue color there, they went with the dark azure. And then they have some metallic, I guess it's medium blue in, in there. Uh, is that, or is that more like the, the bright royal blue color? His face is pretty serious. You can, you can definitely see him through there. And they do give him an alternate face, unlike on most of them nowadays, where they just show the connection port. But again, no alternate headgear. So he's either powered up inside or not. But then with the headgear, he's always going to be fully powered up with Forbidden Spinjitzu. The Lloyd set. It's Lloyd, Dad. No. L-L-O-Y-D. He is very green, but then has quite a lot of contrast with the the side builds, which are going with the whole ice theme. They're intended to be like ice pedestals or, uh, I don't know, maybe they're inside of a, a cave or something. So they're between the ceiling and, and the floor. The slammer itself is, again, the same kind of build. I'm surprised they didn't go with uh, bright green, trans bright green for these add-on elements. I think that would have worked a little bit better. Maybe it would have been too much trans bright green though. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and then they got the, the gold color with the trans bright green. We'll take a look at the figure in just a moment. But the idea with these is that you can actually knock them down. It's interesting that the spiders actually uh, stay in place. I, I didn't realize this about their size, that they will just fit inside of a, a dish piece like that. Not actually attached with any stud or anti-stud in there. Just the the legs themselves barely squeeze in and you got some some ice crystals on the side so this is more frosted down the center and you know you just knock these things down and the thing that you really want to do is knock this down and get the sword out of the block of ice <laughs> hey it's not cheating if you don't actually physically touch the thing right i was just blowing a little bit of air in its direction to encourage it to go where I want it to. So here's here's uh, Lloyd. Now, he's got two completely different colors of gold. He's got the pearl gold, which is actually, uh, the molded pearl gold is actually the older gold as far as I can see. I might be mistaken on that, but it looks to me like the older, more orangish pearl gold. And then on the torso print, it's more of a champagne gold. It's a two-layer thing, I believe, with silver underneath, if I'm not mistaken. But it just looks very different. Doesn't fit as well. I do like the kind of the underprint, you know, of just the regular gi there. But then the energy parts that are added on top of it don't look as good to me. I do like his headgear. I think that works out just fine. But it's the torso print that doesn't work for me here. Uh, I think this would have looked much better if it had the newer pearl gold. I think it would have just tied everything together much better because that's more of a more of a pure gold, a little bit less orangish and a little bit less saturated. Last up, here's the two pack. This is Kai FS versus a Blizzard Samurai. And of course, being the most expensive, largest set with the most pieces, it's no surprise that this would be the more, or the most interesting of them, possibly the most useful of them to play with. But the reason that I feel it's the most useful to play with is that this has quite a lot of focus on things to use with the slammers. You know, things to actually play with with the new system they have these spinner things that allow you to fire off you know like imagine this is a big old flame ball this is like a flame uh flame shuriken type of thing and then also on the bad guy side again you get some actual built up things that you get to fire off so that's that's just useful and these two can compete to get to this scroll of hidden uh, i'm just not getting that right at all am i in in this video scroll of forbidden spinjitsu right there that's up on the top of the pedestal and it's kind of grasped in these claws but ultimately you're just trying to knock this thing down and just you know there are so many different scenarios that you can use on kind of what the rules of engagement are you can go energy blast versus energy blast you know kind of the uh the Ryu versus Ryu, Ryu versus uh, Ken kind of, kind of, you know, uh, ability versus ability 
standoff. Or you can have these going against one of the other characters at, you know, one at a time. Use them all together. Use just the characters against each other. I just knocked one of these off accidentally, but that's okay. You know, choose what you want to do there. Ultimately, these are just slammers, just like the others. So, you know, these things spin off, knock things over, but then you can also load up these things. And if you want to, oh, that actually stopped because it hit, hit the base there. But if you want to, you can try to combine these things. I tried to combine these things to have a little bit of the classic spinner style where you can actually customize the thing like they did for a single season was with with legacy and they did a really nice thing where you know you could customize the the spinners themselves the the, the tornadoes the cyclones by adding things onto the top i really liked that but that doesn't work so well here now i don't mind how these tornadoes work because they do work very well and they do spin quickly they spin securely they you know if you get enough speed on them or in them they tend to keep spinning for quite some time and they do have a lot of force in them you know these edges are a little bit jagged they can actually knock things out of the way so these actually do work pretty well but if you try to combine multiple things together you stack them up it very quickly becomes too top heavy and then they don't spin so well. Maybe you can figure out something that will be a little bit of a, a compromise there, but I tried just these two together. It didn't work so well for me, but I do like these things themselves. I think they're nice, they work well, and at the very least, if you don't like how these are designed, you get a bunch of extras of these. And guess what? You can use these with the older style, older styles of spinners that they've done so far. So these are all compatible across the line even though they have changed things up a little bit you can use them different ways including with the the hand spinners the ones that you roll across the ground the little tools for doing that little armatures as i call them so all these things can be interconnected and you know they have not brought in forced obsolescence just yet even though they have tried several different things over the past year or so with spinners and focusing just on the main things again the slammer Builds are identical, they just have different colors. I like the color scheme here, that works pretty well. And then here are the colors they use. So I'm surprised they didn't go with uh, the gunmetal gray. I guess that just would have been too much like Nia, so they've just brought some darkness up. It's actually black coming into the trans light blue. And then this one has orange with the pearl gold at the base of it. Here are these two figures up close. And again, with the ninja, I feel like the color scheme just doesn't tie itself together all that well. I think orange is not a bad idea for the flame for Kai, but I think it doesn't look quite as good in person as it does here on camera. Just uh, stands out a little bit too much. The Blizzard Samurai is just using his normal color scheme from the season, from the regular box sets and such. So there's nothing special going on there, though I do like the pieces that they introduced this season, and this is a fairly cheap way to get one of those. Um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's it's a very subjective thing, certainly. I'm sure some people will very much like these variants of the FS Ninja. I just personally don't like the, the stuff that they did to, to make them special. The prints aren't that interesting to me, personally. You get alternate faces there, and again, no alternate headgear. There are only a few spare pieces per set, so here are just all of them from all four of the sets, with the exception of these, the extra Forbidden Spinjitzu scrolls. Hey, I got it right for once. Uh, these, you know, come in the set that has one of them, and anytime you get one of them, you get all three, so there you go. I actually feel like these work better than I was expecting. I feel like the slammers themselves are well-sorted bits of engineering. You know, you just put the thing on there, you, you hit the actuator, activator, handle thing, and it just works. It just works pretty properly too. And this is probably the closest we've ever gotten to a realistic depiction of, of ninja in Spinjitzu, you know, actually in the Spinjitzu tornadoes or, or cyclones. You know, they, they spin very quickly and they have a good amount of stability. Uh, they can knock things over even though they're fairly smooth in their design and they don't have things that, that stick out. So this is actually really well done. I think that uh, 
I wouldn't have minded if they did this, and believe it or not, I wouldn't have minded if they did this back in the day, in the earliest days, instead of the original spinners. Oh, I'm going to get so much hate for that. I know, I know, I know. I like the original spinners. I have talked a lot of good about the original spinners, especially relative to other things that they've done more recently. But these are really good. And just the, the accuracy to the show is something that... Uh, I think is is fantastic. I think it's a a win from a from the perspective of engineering. Whoever designed the pieces and designed the system, I think, has something that's very good. And the fact that it's backwards compatible with some of the other things that they've done over the past year or so is also good. And I'm sure you can combine things a little bit. And use the the legacy uh, tornadoes that have the connection points on the top. Try launching some of those with not too many things attached to them because this does get you up to quite a lot of speed and anything being slightly out of balance will mess it up very poor, very badly. But you know, you can definitely try to experiment back and forth a little bit with that. So overall, I think that these are, these are kind of a, a win. I'm, I'm happy, happy with them in general. Uh, it's too bad that we don't get Cole and Nia here, but I am assuming the reason for that is that Cole and Nia just don't sell very well. As usual, I have published my full pure build in real time and also a speed build. You can find the links to those in the end screen and or on their respective channels. And I will just leave you with a little bit of footage from my build room where I was just experimenting around and trying all the different things and you know, just not being too careful about it, just seeing how each element uh, played, basically how they were actually you know, do their, their thing in a, a natural environment. But that's that for now. Thank you for watching. Build videos in the end screen. I'll talk to you again soon.